I'm Adil Kumar and in this video we will see the relation between the demand function, cost function, revenue and profit with the help of their graph. So we are discussing a particular application question which is if the price or demand function is P of X equals to 50 minus 1.25 X and the cost function C of X is equal to 160 plus 10 X where X is the number of units in thousands and cost is in dollars. Determine graph relating revenue function, cost function and profit function. In the previous four videos we discussed the question itself and we found the revenue function, we found break even point and the profit function and now we'll kind of compile all the information together. Okay, So let's begin by discussing the revenue function itself. So as you know revenue is equals to number of items times price function that means x times p of x which is 50 minus 1.25x right I'm not explaining here anything but I'm just uh, summarizing the things which we learned in the previous videos so that revenue function I've already have a sketch of all these functions here and we'll discuss how we really got it so revenue function is shown by this big parabola where two intercepts are one at x equals to zero there it is and the other one is at 40 since the other factor 50 minus 2x is 0 for 40 right so we can equate this to 0 and find so we did say 50 minus 1.25 x equals to 0 and that means x is equals to 40 right so when you solve this so we get these two zeros and midway between which is at 20 we get the maximum revenue. So this is what we did in our first piece of solution for the given question. And then we talked about break-even point, right? In break-even point, you know, break-even point is a point where revenue is equals to cost. So you have to equate this revenue function with the cost function and we found the break-even was for x equals to number of items let me pull it out from my previous video which was 4.6 so x is in thousands I'm just writing the x value which was 4.686 or it was 27.31 well these values are in thousands so let me write down here in thousands Correct. So 4.686 and 27.31. The equation which we got for revenue was by equating the revenue function with the cost function, right? So when you equate revenue and cost function, which is these two, you get what? You get 50x minus 1.25x squared equals 2. 160x plus 160 plus 10x right when you solve this quadratic function you get two points so these are these two points right graphical solution for this is we have a graph for revenue function which is a parabola then you sketch the graph for the line so the cost function is 160x let's write down cost function is 160 plus 10x okay so 160 is your y intercept right so we start with the y intercept which is 160 slope is 10 so for each unit you go up by 10 right so then you make this line then you sketch this line so that line gives you cost function c of x correct so wherever this line crosses the parabola, which crosses at these two points, these are called the break-even points. So these two points for us are indeed break-even points. And what we calculated that the value is 27. This value, if you see here, is around 27 point something. And this value is around 4.6 something. Right. So these are the points at which the revenue is same as the cost. Okay. 
and then we discussed about the profit function profit function is revenue takeaway cost function right and we developed um, this model and we found out that the profit function could be written in the vertex form as equal to so I'm pulling out from the previous values which we calculated minus 1.25 times x minus 16 whole square plus 160 right so here is this graph for the profit function so as you can see we have vertex here this point is for the perf vertex and this is at around 16 units right so this is 16 units and the maximum profit for this is 160 correct so so that is how you get the profit you see if number of items is increasing to 16,000 at that time the profit is increasing it becomes maximum for 16 when x is 16 and thereafter it decreases at times in the question you can be asked for why does it decrease the reason could be many right overheads is normally uh, a common reason right because there's a lot of wear and tear if you produce more you have to pay overheads extra over times right to the people working so all those things add to the cost so therefore the profitability actually decreases after some level so these are a few important things to understand I hope with this you understand how an application question a real-life situation where you have price functions cost functions how we can find the revenues break-even points profits and work out a strategy with this we come to an end to these set of videos my request is try to see them in a sequence so that you can appreciate them better thank you and all the best